and welcome as you can see we have two healthy b22 batteries these are the old model batteries but there's still quite a few of them around and still in working order i'm going to show you today in this video how to test this battery if it's not working to figure out what's wrong with it with one of these a multimeter these batteries can be terribly confusing to the uninitiated because those are the terminals on there you see and there's no markings on them to tell you where plus or where minus is look at any other brand they're all clearly marked where the plus and the minus are you know it's it's all there it's easy but these no um in order to combat this i have one i prepared earlier an old 1970s tv form um, i have put the plus here and the minus there and that's where they are i'm going to show you I might have to get a light or something, I'll have to see what I can do. That's pretty dark there. There's one, two, three, four, five terminals. The negative one's the second one on from this end. And the positive one's the second one on from this end. So that's the two you're going to focus on. To carry out what we're going to call the first test, we need this multimeter set to DC voltage. And we need to put the red probe on the plus terminal. You know that as the second one on from this side and the black one on the negative which is the second one on from the other side and because this battery is good we're getting 23.3 volts it's not fully charged if it was fully charged it'd be over 24 volts um but that's that's a good battery in order to um give you an idea what's going on inside this battery to see where the Sometimes you can get something called cell imbalance or you can get cells that aren't working. I might have to move on to another battery just to show you I have a couple of faulties here. In the interest of doing a useful video so you can see what's going on, I went for the worst battery. That's a 4.78 volts out of 24 volts. So that battery is pretty bad. So that'll give us uh, something to look at when we get inside. And to get inside you have two screws here. They're T TX10s are they? Are they T10s? I TX10s. So screw them off and open the battery right here. So that's the four screws out and what you do then is you just open that up like that the bottom will pull off and sometimes getting off the top can be trickier because you have to pry out them little things um let me see what's going on with this one this one's pretty bad this is only four volts but we'll see Anyway, you don't need to take off the top, you can take off the top, but I don't think I'm going to bother. You can pry that out. You can pry that out, but I don't think I'm going to bother. I'm just going to turn it upside down and test the cells. That's what I'll do. You see this is wrapped in tape. The tape doesn't save it anyway. See all the cell balancers are on, are they? Yeah, they're all attached. So it's just a matter of checking the voltage. This is a 24 volt battery and it's fully charged. It says 21.6 on the bottom, but don't don't really um, get too hung up on that. It's 24 volts when it's fully charged because each of these six banks of cells are putting out four volts when they're fully charged. Basically there's 12 of these on this battery. That's the positive end. That's the negative end. You see the negative, the positive end's got a little bit of insulation around there and a little raised up part in the middle. I'll just see if we can get one with no nickel strip on it. You see, see that sort of thing. And that's the negative end. Um, so we're testing this, as you can see. You can identify which is positive and which is negative. That's positive. That's one bank. That's another bank. 
that's another bank that's another bank these work in a unusual way compared to um, like a DeWalt and that kind of thing but anyway it doesn't matter we're gonna go from one bank to the other and see what see what voltage we're getting going from positive to negative first of all and that one is certainly bad that's low 0.77 of a volt and about the same right so we're going to the next one and we're, we're the wrong way around aren't we point eight five of a volt and the next one point eight one of a volt yeah and the next one is point eight one point eight one It won't hurt. This battery is low across the board. All the cells are low. Uh, they're all under one volt. That is what we considered terminally low and unrecoverable. I have recovered batteries as low as that. It can be done, but it's maybe not advisable. A lot of people think that if a, a cell goes below 2.5 volts, it probably permanently damages the cell. You really, ideally, if you open a pack, you'd want these cells to be sitting between 3.3 .3 and 4, roughly speaking. And across the pack, you'd want equal voltage. If you have some higher and some lower, you get a thing called cell imbalance and you don't get the right performance out of the battery. In some, in some cases, even though the cells aren't damaged, they're all unequal and can render a battery pack completely useless as current form. I have videos showing you how to bring up the lower the lower banks and equalize a battery, balance it in essence. But they're on ah oh, well they're on they're on my channel somewhere and I might do more of them. I might attempt another video to do cell recovery in that, but that's for another video. Uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.